He got new eyeballs. He made me want to get LASIK. I wear contacts and I'm tired of wearing them, dude. So that's why my eyes are a little red. I'm not high. Maybe I'm high. <laughs> but you know. is high and he got LASIK. The ball is over, call it close, but we all know what this is going to be. You came to fail the test, you met the best, expect the chest, but got monopoly. I came and bought you out, I knocked you out, I crouched you out. What up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we got the new 2022 Supra. 2.0 it's a little different than what mine is um, right as I walked in I noticed some visual differences under the hood a lot smaller engine um, a little bit of trimmings was a tad bit different but nevertheless we got a new super in we're gonna be doing a wrap on it full conversion first things first taking apart this car taking apart any car as you're wrapping if you're new to wrapping if you're watching these videos for the first time make sure you subscribe but also understand that as we get into these cars we start to rip them apart immediately um, this is not fully blown apart yet. It only came in a couple hours ago. Front bumper still needs to come off. Headlights need to come off. Mirror needs to come off. But we'll walk through the car. I'll show you what's been taken off so far. Uh, over here, see the mirrors off. We got the uh, roof rails off. The door handles off. We got the uh, side garnish off. Rear bumper's been removed. And here's the, the aftermath. Guys, when you're wrapping a car, especially a white car, you want to remove as many pieces as possible. There are some shops that will tell you that you can do it without. That's not what we do. We like to make sure we get full coverage on all these panels to make sure we get rid of the white as much as possible, at least from the exterior. There's two different types of wraps. You can do a full exterior wrap. You can do a full door jam wrap. In this case, I think we're only doing an exterior wrap, meaning that from the outside, the whole entire car is going to be midnight purple. But when you open the doors, you'll see the white. Um, so with this one, we're going to go to this line here. Once we wrap to that line, when the door's closed, everything will be uh, visually in the midnight purple, but you will still have the white. Um, the reason why I want to mention that is a lot of you guys ask. You ask, why didn't you do the door jams? The door jams are an option for customers. When you're buying your wrap, you have the option to add the door jams or not. It does require more work. If we were doing the door jams on this, we would remove the door from the vehicle. We'd have to wrap the inner jam. We'd also have to wrap... We'd have to wrap the inner jam and we'd also have to wrap all the way around. Um, you can see the complexity and the detail that that would take, the time that would take, as well as the budget that would go up. So if you are doing a door jam job, you're gonna spend more money. In this case, we're not doing it, right? No. It's just exterior. Gonna look good, gonna get started. I'll stop yapping, they will start wrapping. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, I'm not gonna lie, this I like this color, it looks really good. It does look really look, good. Look, there's already a hair in here. <laughs> That's how static it is. Very static. I forgot Jeez. you don't you guys have to, don't you guys like spray the ground when we, when we have to the spray the ground, blow everything off. It's just it's very like tedious when it right, comes to installing this stuff. You have to be very like meticulous with all like your edges, make sure everything's clean, because if it's not, it's not gonna stick. And by the way, if anybody's wondering where Dave's glasses are, uh, he don't need them no more because now he has surgery. new eyeballs. He threw them in the trash. He got new eyeballs. He bro. made me want to get LASIK. I wear contacts and I'm tired of wearing them, dude. So that's why my eyes are a little red. I'm not high. Maybe I'm high. <laughs> but the boy you know. is high and he got LASIK. <laughs> trying to get lint off all the way close so it doesn't get on the final. So you have to make sure that we, you know, really lint roll ourselves. Hey, you got a little something right there. <laughs> I thought you were giving me a massage. Gonna wrap the quarter panel real quick, right? That's what we're doing. Sorry. Quarter panel, about to get wrapped. I'll show you this side's already done. We did a little warm up session. David actually did This quarter panel is a little difficult. From a rapper's perspective, what do you think? Quarter panel hard. Is it a, uh, hard. 
one to ten. What do you what do you rate it? This one, Enos Tech, nine. Nine, nine with the material. You got to think about a couple things. You got to think about the type of car, the body lines, and what material you're using. In this case, we're using the Enos Tech film. Uh, a little bit harder to work with. It's a little thicker. It requires a lot of heat. Some of you guys in the last video that we did installing this material, you guys were saying it's too much heat. It's too much stress. You really got to use a lot of heat on this film. And when it comes to stretching, it's about um, dispersing the tension evenly and properly. Have you wrapped a cord panel on a Super yet? Uh, not the Mark V Super, no. And definitely with the nose attack, I know how difficult it is. So it's tough, right? Yeah, props to David. All right, what up guys, David. Uh, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little update on how it's been going with the Supra. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, it's been going pretty bad. Um, I've had to redo this hood, I would say maybe three times. So um, to put that in perspective, it's like 84 inches of material that got lost three times. So that can only mean we have to order more material. It's more money out of our pocket, which really sucks, but you know what? At the end of the day, we want this car to look really good. And if there's a little small imperfection in there, then we do have to redo things, you know? And being with this car is like, uh, we're wrapping it in Enos Tech Film. It's not as easy as like 3M or Avery. So it is quite a challenge for me to do this. I've already had to redo the hood, like I said, three times. I had to redo the, the top of uh, the roof two times because of dirt and debris and stuff like that. And I don't even want to talk about the trunk because the trunk just been kicked my ass. So, um, but right now I'm gonna do the front, the rear bumper. I'm doing the inlays, and um, I could I could show you guys um, how that's gonna go. It's pretty straightforward. I don't see that one too challenging. Um, in comparison to the front bumper, this thing is a lot more challenging because we have you know deep recessed areas in here, and just all of this stuff right here can be very um, tricky if you don't know how to put your inlays in there. So I'll give you guys an update later. Wish me luck, and hopefully I can get through this.
And look, I need everybody in the comments to gas my boy David up, okay? Because he just needs it, all right? He needs a little bit of confidence boost because this car's kind of been kicking his ass. Right, David? I hate this car. It's been kicking his ass just a little bit, just a little bit. So if y'all can get in the comments, let my boy, let my boy, my boy, let my boy David know that he's one of the best rappers out here because he is. And I let y'all know that, uh, you know, if you do that, um, nothing happens. What we're gonna do right now is install some emblem overlays on the Supra. Um, if you guys have a Supra, you'll know that these emblems have an issue with them. For some reason, the inside of the emblem gets condensation inside of it. So what we're doing to remedy, remedy that is we're just putting some simple peel and stick emblem overlays over it. This is the black on black version. Uh, front emblem overlay labeled with an F. It's gonna peel and stick. I think it looks pretty dope. Nice little black on black look. I think it looks way better. So there's not many things you're gonna buy for your Super that are gonna be under 25 bucks. This is premiumautostyling.com. Go pick up your emblem overlays. Let's go install the rear run real quick, just to complete the look. I think it looks dope. Um, again, if you don't know, or if you do have a Supra, you do know that these emblems have an issue. For some reason, BMW, Toyota made a mistake and they get condensation inside of the emblem. This particular one doesn't have it, but I'm still gonna install them. That looks dope. I think, uh, if you clarify that, it does not stop condensation. It doesn't stop it, it just hides it. Yeah. What Anthony said. Our emblem overlay, what is it called, a full disclosure? Disclosure, our emblem overlay does not stop the BMW Toyota condensation issue. All it does is remedy it by covering it up. Turned out there's a bunch of boxes in here, so. You yeah, should have got me on that one. Like Pat, you did that? Did what? You did this? I did that. You did that? Yeah. So what'd you do to it? Uh, I coated it, and once it was done curing, uh, it, it turned purple. It turned purple? Yeah, that's what the coating does. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So it was like white before, right? right. Yeah, right. so then the coating makes it purple. Yeah. Wow. We got that new new. So if you want that new new, <laughs> it's a premium. This looks newer than it looked when it was brand new. Like, it's new it new. It's yeah. extra new. Dude, it looks so extra good. Extra gloss on the wheels. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, you can eat off those tires, bro. You can eat off of them. That's what you come to expect. You can eat off these. Mmm. Mmm. Look at this. You can do a walk around. This thing looks sick. This, thing, bro. Ah. I can't say enough about this color. I love this color. But yeah, Pat and Zach did their thing on this. Ceramic coated it, made it look amazing. It now just pops. It has way more depth to it. And you can like eat off the thing. That's how clean it is.